Hello guys, welcome to Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to talk further about user management and groups administration in Jira. So in previous tutorial, we have covered the user management, uh, both internal and external users from the LDAP uh, directory. And then we have also seen some of the groups that are available internally in Jira and the external uh, LDAP groups or the crowd groups that we created like uh, developers, IT users, etc. So uh, we'll, we'll extend that conversation and configuration um, in this tutorial and we'll discuss more around the groups administration. So let's get started. So to go ahead uh, with the group administration, you just need to click on the cogwheel and go to the user management. And I'll provide the administration uh, administrator password. And now I'm in the user management page, which we have already seen in the previous um, tutorial. Below users, you have the groups um, section. Now, the group section lists all the groups that are available in this Jira instance, whether they are internal or the external groups that are being fetched uh, from the LDAP directory. So if you see here, the crowd administrators, developers, IT users, and marketing, these groups are the groups that I created in the crowd um, uh, application. Uh, Atlassian Crowd application that we installed and configured. And then we added a couple of users in these groups and then we integrated Crowd with Jira software and these groups and users were, were fetched from that instance. And these uh, groups you see here, Jira administrator, Jira core user, Jira service desk and Jira software users are the default uh, groups that are available in the Jira software. So any user uh, that you create, um, so for example, administrator, Jira administrator, the first user that gets created once the Jira installation happens uh, is allocated the group of Jira administrator. Uh, and here you can see that this is the administrator. This user uh, has been given um, the administrative access. If you see the, um, the button here, the admin access, and this user has access, access to Jira software. Um, so Jira administrator, any member in the Jira administrator group has basically admin access to all these uh, details. So Jira core user uh, has access to the Jira um, core application. And if a user is added in the Jira service desk, he will be given access to Jira service desk application and Jira software user will be having access in the Jira software application, right? So um, here you can see the, the number of users in each of these groups. And now let's try to delete uh, some of these, you know, like groups, say for example, Jira software users, should we be able to um, delete because this is the default uh, software users group. Let's try and delete and see what happens. So it says, uh, if you delete a group, all users in that group will be removed from the group first. Um, and deleting a group will not delete any users. So if you delete this user, this um, the users will still remain there. Let's see what happens if you click on delete. You get this message, cannot delete group Jira software users as it is the default, last default group for application Jira software. So this is the default group for the application Jira software and you are not allowed to delete this group as well. Um, similarly, if you go and try to delete the Jira administrator, you cannot delete this group because this is the default or this is the system admin uh, group or privileges uh, and if this group gets deleted no one will be there to grant you privileges administrative privileges so that's not allowed as well um, if you try to delete any other groups right so for example the external groups um, that have been um, synchronized from the external directory uh, that should be fine and you can delete that um, however so 
the users from that group will be removed and they won't be deleted only the group will be removed so let's see if we can delete uh, the developers so we'll, we'll ignore that we'll try to delete some other um, say IT users we'll try to delete let's see what happens so here you can see that you do not have permission to remove this group from all the directories in which it occurs the reason for that is because we have configured crowd as read only in the Jira instance and so you cannot configure or you cannot delete any of the you know like users and groups from the Jira instance however if we would have done um, the uh, the read write access for the crowd then we would have been able to delete these groups um, if you create any other groups if for example let's create a test group here so I'll given the name as test and add it a new group let's add some members here so we'll select some members from the internal directory uh, we'll see some of the say for example software users will filter and then we'll say Bob Singh we'll add that user to the group member test and then go back to groups now here you can see the test group has been added and there is one user in this group uh, if you want to delete then you should be able to delete this group however the user will still be there so if you click delete there is no test group anymore if you go back to the users and reset the filter and see B sing should already uh, should be there already yep yeah, so here so B sing is still there and he is also part he was also part of the group Jira software users all right now um, going back to the groups again uh, how you can add the users to the group or different you know like uh, applications and then test the access so at the moment you you see the Jira software users have the access to the application Jira software however if you see the developers the users in the developers group will see what access they have they don't have access to any of the application at the moment right so let's see uh, log in as uh, LXB and see that he doesn't have any access okay so yes he doesn't have any access um, we'll log off and log in as administrator again and then change the access for or change the group for these users Alex so I log in as myself administrator and we'll go back to user management again and then going back to the groups now here these the users any users in Jira software users group have access to Jira software so if we add any users from other groups to Jira software users group they'll be able to access this application Jira software so if we go and edit the members and add the members from other groups so we'll select the members from the developers group filter those and add these two users to the Jira software group then these two users uh, will be able to access Jira application right so going back to the groups again now you can see the number of users in Jira software users group is changed to 8 right and these are the two users that have been um, added so if we go to 
the group developers and filter the users so LXP and M Kumar have been added now if we try to log in as LXP again now he should be able to access the Jira application now so we're logging in as LXP again and here you go now you, LX can access the Jira application so that is how you can edit the groups and add more users to the group and uh, by adding the users to the group uh, how they can access different applications um, we'll go back to the user management again right so now here you can see that because the developers the the users in the developers group they didn't have access to any of the application but we added these two users to the Jira software users group and Jira software users group had access to Jira software application and that is why LX had got access to Jira software now please note that if you're adding members from the external directory or LDAP server, because this is the, the these are the crowd groups, so IT users, developers, and marketing, these are the crowd groups, uh, which is external uh, sort of LDAP, uh, you need to have read write permission in the configuration to change the or to, to add these users to different groups. All right, otherwise, you will get an error that if if the directory is configured only in the read-only mode, you'll get an error that you won't be allowed to add users from external LDAP to the internal user group in Jira. So that's pretty much all about the uh, Jira group admin, how to delete the groups, add users to the group, and how you can control or give access to the Jira applications by adding the members to the appropriate groups. Hope you liked the video. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.